So the two main goals of the academic program at our school are the following. The first is more a philosophical one in nature. We want all of our students to become lifelong learners. We want intellectual curiosity to be a mainstay, to be a permanent part of their life. The second is much more of a practical one. We want to prepare them for post-secondary success in the college of their choosing, and we want them to attend this college with scholarship monies in tow. Now, how do we accomplish those aims? There are four basic tenets or principles that we subscribe to here. The first is all of our classrooms are flipped, flipped classrooms. Now, what does that mean? At home, homework consists of the following. Reading your e-text in the digital textbook library, or actually having it read to you. There is a feature in the digital textbook library that allows the actual book to be read to you. The next part of their homework is to watch any pertinent videos and lectures associated with the topic at hand. The great thing about this is due to this digital textbook library, all of this stuff is located in one area for your son. He does not have to wander around someplace in Cyberland or on YouTube or on Google searching for these various things. It's all there for him. It's controlled, it's safe, and again, it's a conscientious integration of technology. Keyword, conscientious. The second thing is that all of our courses are blended. All of our courses require some type of technology-mediated instruction and assessment. Now, what does that mean? Now, a lot of times, people will say, oh, well, that means one-to-one. -one. How many have heard that? One-to-one, -one, everyone talks about one-to-one. -one. Yes, no, some, correct. Well, that is not blended learning. One-to-one -one is not about, it's not about having an iPad in front of you and taking notes. That is not blended instruction. That is not going to prepare them for success at their post-secondary institution where a lot of these courses are truly blended. What does it mean? Students here are responsible, and you'll see these in the various classroom presentations, for completing assessments and activities online through the accompanying platforms of the digital textbook library. Labs, blogs, discussion boards, actual questions, objective questions, essays, and again, it's all there. The third tenet is the importance of research, which is very important in college. And the great thing, again, about this digital textbook library, we have over 61 titles in the library. So the students can use any of those books for primary and secondary research, not just the books that pertain to their individual courses. And again, in addition to all these books, they have various resources through the different platforms, the different labs, essays, scholarly criticisms, uh, additional videos and lectures that they can also use for purposes of primary and secondary research. In addition, since they're able to search for whatever topic they would like in the digital textbook library, if they're preparing for the SAT, uh, the subject test in Math 1 or Math 2, they can refer back to books that they have used previously, all right there in the digital textbook library. The final thing we do to make sure your sons are attending the college of their choice is give them a great academic profile. We have 19 advanced placement courses here that begin in freshman here. We have college link credits that are offered through Marist and Mercy College. And again, we have various electives that would appeal to your son's intellectual curiosities, whether it be engineering, botany, anatomy and physiology, journalism, computer programming, coding, the list goes on. We really do try to cater to the student's needs and interests. We also have an SAT prep course that is actually part of the curriculum and numerous field trips and academic competitions for enrichment. Now, because we've done all of this, all of these four tenets that I just spoke about, we truly have become a standard bearer for curriculum innovation during this time. So much so that we've had visits from other countries and other schools from across our country and even region. And they all marvel at the following four things. How we have trained our faculty, 
the money we have invested in our infrastructure and continue to invest. You can stop by our brand new physics lab that we just opened this year. And the time that we spent testing and incorporating these programs and curriculum frameworks. This is our fifth year doing this. And we did it gradually over the process of three years before last year going completely digital. So it's something that has tested and the results have been proven and our teachers are trained. Finally, students can purchase their own device. We do not mandate one particular device. So it provides some good savings for our families as well. I'm confident your sons will be challenged here. They'll be inspired by the rigors of the curriculum. I promise you that we will set high standards for him and provide him with an atmosphere that will stimulate his intellect and allow him to reach his full potential. Thank you so much.